good afternoon to everyone today we are going to study a question number 19 20 and 21 this part of aphorism in your organon of medicine is related to knowing the medicinal power in medicine or you can say where lies the disease curative power in medicine the reply to this answer is being given by honeyman in this part so before we study this <coughs> aphorism just we will have an interaction with each other just think yourself have you ever witnessed anyone in approximately healthy condition if yes then just write down in your chat box why have you witnessed healthy individual approximately healthy individual around you or you can reply me yes or no क्या हुआ किसी ने नहीं देखा हेलो नो सर हेल्दी इंडिविजुअल देखा ही नहीं आप तो आप क्या हुआ अभी हेलो आई जस्ट टोल यू वी विल हैव एन इंटरेक्शन बिफोर दिस व्हाट यू थिंक योर at right now are you in a state of health or not i am not talking about the idealism of health or perfect state of health but each of us whatever we are whatever the capacity we are born with we all have our state of health in a different way i am not talking about in ideal or highest spiritual level of health but we all have a moderate state of health tabhi to aapko health certificate milta hai aap admission mein jaate ho aur kahin bhi jaate ho you are considered to be in your jo bhi aapki apni capacity hai in that state of health hello do you consider yourself right now as a sick individual or in a state of health in a state of health so just think about ke this is one of the approximately you can say or moderately or you can say comparatively healthy state this is your one state that is called state of health when you encounter with some unwanted situation in your life either any type of getting cold or any type of <clears throat> infection then you become sick or anyone you must have seen in your hospital in your clinic in your neighborhood persons having symptoms that means those a state of sickness is what it is nothing but the deviation from the state of health that is called sickness when one individual when he or she is in a state of approximately healthy state then he has a state of health he has a manifestation he has a different set of his own ease when it gets deranged then he goes into a state of sickness then what happens in a state of sickness he is manifesting symptoms or manifestations of uneasiness jisko according to aphorism number 7 the sum total of that it defined as sickness then during a state of sickness what happens we take certain medicine or we prescribe certain medicine to the patient to the person who is now in a state of sickness then what happens that person who is in a state of sickness again goes back to his previous state of state of health and the manifestation of the sickness disappears have you 
witness such type of phenomena in and around you hello have you witnessed yes, such phenomena around you then yes, sir. as when the patient when the person was in a state of health he became in a state of sickness by some unwanted by some enemical forces whatever infection or other name you can say so any inimical force when that acted on a person who was in a state of health then he become sick <coughs> during the state of sickness what happens we prescribe certain medicine then medicine again produces changes in that individual who is in a state of sickness and then he again goes back in a state of health that means that justify that give us a clue that the medicine we have administered to the patient we have given to the patient they must have something in itself so that it has a capacity to change the state of sickness of that individual into the state of health is it so if it happens then there is one indication out of this that a medicine must have certain power a medicine must have certain capacity to produce certain alteration in the state of health when the individual will be in a state of health and you will administer the medicine the medicine will produce a certain manifestation and patient will feel uneasiness what happens during drug proofing similarly again when the patient is or when the person is in a state of sickness and you administer a medicine again that medicine will produce according to its own a certain state of symptom and according to the law of similia that symptom will overpower the present symptom of the patient and again the person goes into a state of health this phenomena is called the phenomena of knowing the medicinal power knowing that something lies hidden something lies in the interior of that medicine and that hidden quality is called the power of medicine that is our emphasis of discussion in this aphorism that as we have studied during aphorism number 5 and aphorism number till aphorism number 8 that this part of aphorism is called as the precursor of aphorisms of case taking or you can say this is nothing but a precursor of case taking similarly this section of aphorism aphorism number 19 to 21 is called as precursor of drug proving the details of drug proving the steps of drug proving and detailed criteria and directions of drug proving is given in aphorism number 105 to aphorism number 145 but the need to prove the drug the philosophical demand for proving of drug is generated in this aphorisms and that is this section and this generation of drug proving this need of drug proving eroded by this phenomena this is a ongoing process when we observed in our society in our neighborhood this type of phenomena that a person is in a state of health by some inimical force it goes into a state of sickness and again by administering of medicine from a state of sickness is goes again into a state of health that means there must be something in the inimical power that has a capacity to produce from health to sickness and likewise there must have some power in medicine which has a capacity to produce again from a state of sickness to the state of health 
and so our concern here is regarding this medicine ke what is that in medicine which has a capacity to restore the state of health a capacity to remove the state of uneasiness or symptoms from the patient and then the patient again will go into the state of health so with this introduction let's study our this part of organon that is aphorism number 19 20 and 21 these three aphorisms together have these three messages one is called disease producing power of medicine is disease curing power aphorism number 19 give us this message the last sentence i will just discuss is when we will discuss this aphorism aphorism number 20 give indication for drug proving that means this can be this power this hidden power of medicine that has a capacity to change from the state of disease to a state of health is only known by or it can only be known by that is called drug proving and by no other phenomenon and aphorism number 21 again discuss in a combined way aphorism number 19 aphorism number 20 and it indicates us towards the knowledge of curative power of medicine <clears throat> so what is the message in aphorism number 19 as we have just discussed right now regarding these this first three sentences those who have book they can open their book is that now now kehne ka matlab hai here he is describing or here he is discussing from the previous state of discussion jo aphorism number 9 to 18 mein chala aa raha tha and that is the most important part not only regarding vital force the important part is regarding the dynamicity that i have told you earlier the most important hidden message in that section of aphorism is regarding the dynamicity because the whole homeopathic phenomena differs from rest of all the other pathies available right now till now is the concept of dynamism and that is the uniqueness of homeopathy so this is again the in a continuation of that now as disease are nothing more than alteration in the state of health of an healthy individual जस्ट नाई आपने आपको जैसे अभी बताया कि वेन यू आर इन स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ वेन सम इनिमिकल फोर्स एक्ट देन वट यू हैपन यू चेंज ए स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ दिस इज अगेन ए स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ बट इन ए डिजीज वे सो डिजीजेस आर नथिंग बट अल्टरेशन इन द स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ ऑफ ए हेल्थी इंडिविजुअल विच एक्सप्रेस दम सेल्फ बाई मॉर्बिड साइन एंड सिमटम अगेन इट रिमाइंड यू एफ्रोजम नंबर सेवन देन is also only possible by a change to healthy condition of the state of health of diseased individual it is very evident that medicine could never cure if they did not possess the power of altering man's state of health which depend on sensation and function that means medicine if medicine is changing this state of health of a sick individual that means this medicine must have certain power must have certain capacity to produce certain alteration in that individual and because of that the patient is capable of the person is capable of getting out of this diseased manifestation the symptoms and again goes back into the state of health isi ko summarize karke short mein kya kara indeed that their curative power there means the medicines curative power their curative power must be owing solely to the this power they possesses of altering man's state of health medicine has only one power either you prescribe either you administer it in a state of health 
or you administer it in a state of sickness, it will produce symptoms, it will produce manifestation according to its own nature, according to its own peculiarity. Nothing different. In patient, it will produce again the symptoms of its own nature and this its own nature matches with the concept of law of similia, then again the similia will act and disease will be cured. Again, in any individual, it will produce the same type of manifestation and that manifestation you can record, you can note down for knowing that this is the power, this is the manifestation, this is the symptomatology of that medicine and that if we will store it and another time when some person gets ill with a similar type of manifestation when they will, we will administer this medicine then this medicine will again produce this similar manifestation and patient will be cured from the disease state according to the law of similia. So the message in this aphorism is nothing but the part that medicine has some capacity to produce a certain alteration and this capacity is nothing but their curative power that is called the alters man's state of health that is means their disease producing power disease producing power of medicine that means it is what is collected in the drug proving in the name of this medicine and that power is called disease curative power that is the message of aphorism number 19 here this is the breakup of this aphorism you can note it down you can take a picture for your breakup file and what is that disease producing power of medicine is disease curing power how disease is what nothing but alteration in the state of health of a healthy individual. Healthy individual, when it gets altered, it becomes disease. And this disease is <coughs> manifested by nothing but expressed by morbid signs and symptoms. Then what happens when we administer medicine? Then again, this medicine produces a change in a state of disease to a state of health. And so, this power of medicine that it produces in a state of disease a state to a health that is called the disease producing power of medicine. And this disease producing power is medicine. In case of sickness, it becomes a curative power. And so we can say that caused by medicine by virtue of which their capacity to alter the state of health. This virtue, this power of medicine to change, to produce a change in the state of health, it becomes medicine when it is applied in a sick individual and when it applies on a healthy individual, it will become identification for that medicine, knowing the characters of that medicine. Anything else you want to ask in this aphorism? Anyone? Anyone having any doubt in this aphorism till now? Sir, a point that hmm. uh, Men's state of health which depends on sensation and function. Hmm. Line was. Sensation and functions ko samajne ke liye, agar hum jaye aphorism number 9 again. If a person is living, then how we will identify that whether it is living or it is non-living. It is mm. only through its manifestation of its sensations and function. When it is vital operations, when aphorism number 9 says vital operations, it is what? Internally for physiological functioning and that functioning is reflected outside by manifestations. When it is in a physiological state, it is called manifestations. When it becomes deranged, it becomes sign and symptoms. So a state of health, or you can say in a other way, a person, whether it is living or non-living, it is all perceptible only by manifestations of functions and sign and symptoms. Or you can say by manifestation. 
उसी मैनिफेस्टेशन में जब होगा देन इट इज कॉल इन ए स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ यही मैनिफेस्टेशन जब सिम्टम्स में आ जाएगा देन अगेन इट इज कॉल इन ए सिकनेस आइदर इन ए स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ और इन ए स्टेट ऑफ सिकनेस बोथ आर शोइंग वन कंडीशन एंड दैट इज पेशेंट इज और पर्सन इज लिविंग एंड वेन ही इज लिविंग देन देर इज गोइंग ऑन वाइटल ऑपरेशन वाइटल ऑपरेशन इन नॉर्मल फिजियोलॉजिकल वे इट इज कॉल्ड मैनिफेस्टेशन इन अल्टर्ड वे इट इज कॉल्ड साइन एंड सिम्टम सो वी कैन नो दिस ओनली थ्रू दिस मैनिफेस्टेशन am i clear okay sir anyone else sir ek question tha isse related nahi hai ye tha ki bahut sare jo doctors hain wo kehte hain ki ye medicine lene se platelet count badh jata hai ya fir ye wale cells badh jate hain to hamari medicines to vital force pe kaam karti hai to fir cells to material ho gaye na hmm beta Uh, I think we should discuss it later on. And it, अगर okay, हम इसको अभी डिस्कस करने जाए तो आपका ये पार्ट यही रह जाएगा और वेन आई विल डिस्क्रीव यू समाइम वेन वी विल स्टडी एफ्रोजम नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक मेडिसिन देन आई विल सम हाउ एक्सप्लेन यू ओके रिलेटेड टू दिस एफ्रोजम एनी वन हैविंग एनी क्वेश्चन नो Yes or no? No sir. No sir. Okay. So. No sir. Come to aphorism number twenty. <clears throat> Here, what is being said? This spirit-like power. Kisko keh raha hai? Just give concentration or your attention to this word. Spirit-like power to alter man's state Why of health. नहीं यहाँ पे वाइटल फोर्स के बारे में नहीं कह रहा है दिस स्पिरिट लाइक पावर टू अल्टर मैं स्टेट ऑफ हेल्थ अब किसके बारे में कह रहा आई थिंक नाउ इट इज क्लियर मेडिसिन की पावर मेडिसिन के अंदर दैट जो मेडिसिन के अंदर है क्यों कह रहा जो आप देखो ग्रीन से जो हाईलाइटेड है हेंस टू क्योर द डिजीज विच लाइज हिडन इन द इंटीरियर नेचर ऑफ मेडिसिन बिकॉज उस मेडिसिन के इवन इफ इट इज नॉट पोटेंटाइज इवन इफ इट इज इन स्क्रूड वे जो कि हम इसको पढ़ेंगे अगर थोड़ा सा और डिस्कस करने को हुआ दैट इज कॉल्ड डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ सिग्नेचर अदर वे उसके कलर में उसके फिजियोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर में उसके केमिकल कैरेक्टर में उसके अपियरेंस में उसके शेप में ये डिजीज प्रोड्यूसिंग पावर को नहीं इंडिकेट करता है जो डिजीज producing power ko indicate karta hai it is not visible it is not perceptible it is not cognizable and that's why it is called spirit like that's why it is called dynamic as our vital force and so it is called spirit like because it lies hidden in the medicine it is not apparent outside by any other reasoning from the medicine and so then what it's called which lies <clears throat> lies hidden in the inner nature of medicine can never just give importance to this can never be discovered by us by mere effort of reasoning ye jo efforts of reasoning keh rahe hain that means yahi जिसको हिस्ट्री ऑफ मेडिसिन में जाना जाता है आफ्टर पैरासेल्सस कंट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज कॉल्ड डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ सिग्नेचर के मेडिसिन के किसी भी ड्रग सब्सटेंस के डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ सिग्नेचर से उसका रियल क्यूरेटिव पावर नहीं जाना सकता एंड दिस डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ सिग्नेचर इज नॉट द इंडिकेटिव ऑफ नोइंग द रियल क्यूरेटिव पावर ऑफ एनी मेडिसिन so here in this aphorism two message is clear one that this medicine has a spirit like dynamic power and that's why it is not cognizable to our senses it can only be perceived by a phenomena but not directly to our senses second is called how to know 
how to know this second part is having two directions one it cannot be known by any efforts of reason that means it cannot be known by its external character either physical or chemical that is called doctrine of signature and second part of this second section is it can only the command it only so it is only by experience of a phenomena it displays when acting on a state of health of a man we can become clearly cognizant of it and that phenomena is called drug proving that means as i have discussed earlier medicine will produce always manifestation according to its nature belladonna will always produce manifestations like belladonna naxvomica will always produce manifestation of naxvomica brainia will always produce symptomatology according to brainia now if you produce this if you administer this in a person in a state of sickness then when if it will match according to the similia then it will cure but it will produce the symptoms according to its nature only and if we use a apparently healthy individual and then if we administer this naxomica or brainia then again it will produce symptoms according to its own nature and here we have an opportunity to just note it collect it down so that we can know what brainia can produce and if we know what brainia can produce if we know what naxomica can produce if we know what belladonna can pr produce then whenever we have opportunity whenever we have a state of sickness of individual in a state of disease then we can identify that this manifestation is matching to belladonna brainia naxomica or rustox and then if we administer this again that medicine will produce symptoms according to its own nature but as we have here applied according to the law of similia so this will prove, prove according to the law of similia similibus curenter as a curative state of condition so aphorism number 20 give us indication that medicines curative power ab isko chaho to note karke rakh sakte ho this aphorism number 20 give us two important indications one is called this curative power of medicine is spirit like is dynamic or is not cognizant to our senses number 2 how we can know it this number 2 is again divided into two and one is we cannot know we cannot perceive it merely by outward reasoning merely by doctrine of signature merely by considering our five senses so it is not perceptible from outside uh, from our senses so how it can be produced it can only be known by a unique phenomena that it produces on a state of health of an individual and that phenomena is called is known as drug proving so this is the break up of this aphorism that spirit like dynamics to alter the state of health of man is hidden in inner nature it is not cognizable from outside so it is the inner quality of the medicine that lies inside the medicine and then how you can know it it is divided into two part not by mere reasoning not discovered by reasoning ye jo word yellow se likha hua hai this is not described in your organon as doctrine of signature but this indicates doctrine of signature ye usi ko keh raha hai but ye word wahan pe use nahi kiya gaya hai theek hai isliye humne isko aapko alag color se yahan pe describe kiya hai and how it can be perceived by experience of a phenomena displayed by man's state of health when it is administered in a state of healthy individual then again it will produce manifestations 
and by these manifestations we can easily perceive the characters of the particular medicine and that phenomena is called drug proving just let me know aap logon ko drug proving ke bare mein kuch padhaya gaya hai hello yes, hello yes sir kya padhaya yes, gaya drug proving healthy yes, pe sir. karte hain ya sick individual pe healthy individual so healthy individual sick pe kyun nahi karte beta सर क्योंकि सिख इंडिविजुअल हम ड्रग प्रूविंग हेल्दी पे करते हैं अगर सिख पे करेंगे तो सिख का जो अपना मतलब जो ड्रग का मेन जो प्रॉपर्टीज है वो क्लियर नहीं हो पाएंगी बिकॉज वहाँ पे हमारे लिए ये डिफिकल्ट हो जाएगा बिकॉज मेडिसिन विल प्रोड्यूस मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड पेशेंट हैज ऑलरेडी सर्टेन मैनिफेस्टेशन देन लेटर ऑन इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट which is the manifestation Between produced by medicine, medicine and which is the manifestation mm -hmm. produced by the patient himself Disease. already so here is a state of mixture but when it will be applied on a state of apparently healthy individual that means that individual is not having any type of altered manifestation ab yahan jo bhi produce hoga wo sab kis ki wajah se hoga मेडिसिन की वजह से होगा प्रोवाइडेड वी विल रेस्ट्रिक्ट पेशेंट फ्रॉम एनी अदर आउटसोर्स और इन्फ्लुएंस और यही वजह है कि ड्रग प्रूफिंग के दौरान हम बहुत सारा रेस्ट्रिक्शंस प्रोड्यूस करते हैं पेशेंट को <laughs> क्या आप इस तरह से अल्टरेशन में ना जाए सो दैट वी हैव ए डिफिकल्टी इन आइडेंटिफाइंग वेदर दिस सिम्टम इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई दिस टाइप ऑफ कॉज और इट इज द सिम्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन इट सेल्फ सो टिल एफ्रोजम नंबर नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी we have come to one decision that medicine have certain quality ek bar just aap isko refresh kar lo medicine have certain power and then only it has a capacity to produce a state of health from a state of sickness number one message number two message this power of medicine is not cognizant from our normal senses and so it is spirit like it is dynamic number 2 it can only be number 3 sorry it can only be perceived by a phenomena that is called drug proving okay i think time is uh, just going out of our hand so next aphorism we will discuss next day or afterwards and uh, i think you have not replied me that whether you need aphorism 7 or 8 to re study or further study and you are satisfied with those previous study hello second year sir char logon ne aisa bola hai ki unko karwana hai char logon ke hisab se nahi hone chahiye to kya bata aath log hue na baki aur baki koi reply nahi kar raha hai is topic pe चलो ठीक है सो शॉर्ट में नेक्स्ट क्लास में जब हम एफरजम ट्वेंटी वन पढ़ेंगे तो आपको हम थोड़ा सा उसका इंडिकेशन दे देंगे इफ दे विल गेट इट देन ओके इफ दे विल नॉट गेट इट वी विल अगेन टीच देम सेपरेटली सर ओके ओके सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर सर प्लीज एफोरिज्म नंबर सेवन रिपीट एक बार पढ़ा दीजिए ओके जी थैंक यू सर